Oh, so today on Big Cat Sport, we are at part number eight. That's the one, two, three, four. Why am I doing that? <laughs> part number eight of the 101 sport events to complete before we die on BKR Sport. This series is massive because although it's us just talking about it right now, it's us kind of just saying, you know what? This is what we're going to do. We're actually going to be doing these things. So this is basically a bucket list for BKR Sport. And for the BKR, we're going to join along with me, obviously. Basically, it's a list that we're going to complete over the years of filming on BKR Sport. We love doing game day experience videos at the moment, but we're going to make a bigger and better son. You better believe it. If you've seen any of the parts before this, from parts one to seven, you know how massive some of these events are. And there's some really strange events too. There's some big events, there's some small events, and there's some really, really wacky events around the world that we're going to be attending. Obviously, this is going to take quite a bit of time to do as there is some pretty out there events that we are also competing in, let alone just attending. But anyway, guys, let's get straight into part number eight of the one-on-one -on -one sporting events to complete before we die. I'll be chaos sport. Let's do this. Number 71, and we've got to attend all seven NBA Finals matches in one series. How crazy would that be? Like we did with the Major League Baseball attending all seven World Series matches, this isn't just, you know, going to one series and if it's finished in five, then that's done. No, we don't tick it off then. It has to go to seven games. Because not all final series actually go to seven games. Sometimes it can be over in four, it can be over in five, it can be over in six. And we are not ticking it off this list unless we see a game seven, which would just be nuts. Like, that will just be absolutely insane to watch the best of the best in an absolute do or die final game. The vlog for that one, I'm going to be sweating the whole bloody time. I'm going to be just sweating. And the cool thing about this as well is that if it doesn't get completed one year, like, although we don't get to tick it off, it's still great because we got to go there and experience game experience vlogs at wherever that was. Then if it's a different final series the next year, we get to experience a new place. So, you know, it might not go to seven games the first time, but in the same sense, that just means that we get to keep going back and back and back until we complete it and we get to experience new places while we do it. Number 72, and it's not much difference to 71. It's a completely different sport, but <laughs> it's pretty much the same thing. All seven NHL Stanley Cup Plus matches in one series. Oh my goodness. There's not much I really need to say about this one, to be honest. I've already said it with the Major League Baseball. I've already said it with the NBA. But, like, this is just going to be absolutely crazy. I never really was an ice hockey fan until I lived in Canada for a little bit, and then that was actually the year. <laughs> Funnily enough, <laughs> when I lived in Canada that year, that was the year that they had, like, that standoff where there was no hockey games being played. But I just know how massive hockey is over in the States and in Canada. So, to, to go to a Stanley Cup playoff one match, let alone all seven. That's crazy, man. That is legitimately crazy. Number 73, and guys, this is a little bit of a quirky one. We're going to be heading all the way to Austria, Kitzbühel Downhill Alpine Race. Kitzbühel is known as one of the most dangerous ski places in the world. It's actually known as the world's most dangerous downhill ski race. Although pictures don't do it justice, apparently when you're there, it's just a completely different beast to what you actually thought. But to see world professionals competing in the most dangerous downhill ski race in the world and in Austria or places where it has phenomenal ski hills like that's just gonna be an experience and a half to be honest actually being there it's just gonna be wild at home on TV I don't even think it's on TV but at home on TV it's just like no no one really cares it's just you don't get the feeling when you're there you're feeling the cold you're feeling the pressure you're feeling the tenseness of the competitors you're looking up at the slope but it's just gonna be such a surreal moment and I can't wait to take you guys there number 74 and we've got the world dodgeball championship I reckon this is going to be a right piss take. I reckon it's going to be an absolute laugh. Obviously, I got this idea from Dodgeball, and then I searched up, is there actually, because I know that there definitely would. There's an Air Guitar World Championship, for bloody hell's sake. Like, it's just, it's a championship for everything. So, I found out there was a World Dodgeball Championship, and we're going to go to it, because that is going to be just hilarious. That would be a right crack up to be a part of. I don't think they're going to get too many crowds there. I don't think it's anything like, what, obviously Dodgeball, but <laughs> maybe Dodgeball put up. This would just be a, a <laughs> pretty interesting experience, to be honest. What the hell? Number 75, and we've got a big one for us Aussies and a big one for the Kiwis out there. We've got the Bledisloe Cup. Besides the fact that I don't think Australia's won the Bledisloe Cup in like... I don't know, over a decade because we're just bloody useless against New Zealand. This rivalry, you know, as I would have said before in this list with the Rugby Union World Cup and stuff like that, it's just on another level, man. It's just on another level. Like, Australians and New Zealanders, we love each other, but when it comes to sport, we absolutely despise each other. Whether it's at Eden Park or it's at Suncorp or wherever it is, it's always a tense affair because everyone just wants to win so badly. Like, more than other sports. Because, obviously, it's the biggest rivalry match. Even though I'm an Australian, I actually want to go see a Blaise Cup match in New Zealand. <laughs> I 
I don't really know what that was, but number 76, we've got at 10, a genuine Muay Thai fight in Thailand. I'd have to say that Muay Thai is one of the most respected fighting styles in the world nowadays. And to actually go to Thailand and experience a genuine Muay Thai fighting, I'm not saying that everything is fake around the world, but to see where it originated, see like the style actually at the place it originated, because obviously it wouldn't have adapted to the way it's been westernized. So it'd just be awesome to go there and truly experience the genuine form of it. Number 77, and this one's from one of you guys. I told you, if you comment below and it hasn't been done yet, I'm gonna put it in there. We've got the Big Bash League final in Australia. If you're not too sure what the Big Bash League is, basically it's 2020 cricket, but with obviously Australian cities. So like the Sydney Thunder, Sydney Sixers, Brisbane Heat, Melbourne Stars, Melbourne Renegades, you know. I just mentioned all the teams that weren't even in the finals this year. <laughs> Would love to go down to Hobart for a game like that, because I'm pretty sure that's the only professional sport in Tasmania that actually has a full-on team. Yes, I know that Hawthorne go down there a couple of times for the year, and there are games down there, but this is the only professional sport that's held down there, so it might only be really our only chance to get to a sport down in Tasmania. Over the last couple of years, 2020 cricket has just genuinely exploded, and it's just come out from nowhere. And it's great to see because 2020 cricket is fantastic to watch. It's pulsating, it's edgy seat stuff, and you never really, well, sometimes you, you know, but you never really know who's gonna win it until the final over of the match. And that's where you just like, as you say, bite your fingernails, bloody hell. It's just an experience and a half. That's just where you're sitting at home watching the TV, let alone actually being there. I've never actually been to a Big Bash League game. But it's more about just getting the highest score possible. It's more about just going for gold time. Number 78, and we're gonna be heading back over to America, back to baseball, up to Boston, because we're gonna be sitting atop the Green Monster at Fenway Park. Fenway is famous for its Green Monster because one, it's a Intimidating and two, it's the best seats in the ground. Like, have a look at it. The right front row, which usually, by the way, tickets for front row are like $500 a pop US. So, you know, it's not like every day that you can just afford to go to it. <laughs> and from what I can gather, it's kind of like your own box seat. Like, look at it. It's just, it looks phenomenal. You're right on the edge. You are in prime position to catch a home run ball. It's just like an incredible view that you get from up there. You're looking over the entire park. Seriously, imagine if you were front row on the Green Monster for a World Series match at Boston. Oh my gosh, that would just be insane. You are literally in prime position to catch a home run ball and imagine that bloody... Oh, I'm just getting too excited now. I'm just getting too excited now. Dude, just, just, let's just move on because otherwise I'm going to get too excited about this. Green Monster, Fenway, what a bloody time and a half that will be. Come on. Number 79 and I've got one that I'm assuring you right now that you probably would not have heard of this one. It's the Fiesta de Casca Moras in Spain. The Fiesta de Cascamoras is a fight or a battle in Granada, Spain between two different areas of Andalusia. Guadix and Bazaar, two Andalusian towns basically fighting for a statue. <laughs> for fighting for the possession of a statue. But to also take part in this festival, you need to be drenched in black olive oil. <laughs> so it's like, it's slippery, it's challenging, it's it's just crazy apparently. It's crazy. It's, everyone's just trying to get to this, this this religious statue to keep possession of it. You're just, everyone's, it's, apparently it's not so. Not many people actually know about this festival and it's very difficult for me to know how to explain it. So if you want to know more about the festival, Fiesta de Cascamoras, go and check that out on Google because this is going to be a wild one. This is going to be really cultural. It's going to be insane to experience because not only does it have its religious meaning, but it also has its rivalry and sport meaning, obviously to do with competing for the possession of the statue. I think this is going to be wild. I can't wait. Finally, at number 80 to round off part number eight of the 101 Sporting events to complete before we die on Big House Sport. We've got Super Bowl from a luxury suite. <laughs> I'm not even gonna explain it. I'm not even gonna explain it because it's Super Bowl from a luxury suite. Like, that's just incredible. If you wanna hire an entire suite, I'm pretty sure it sets you back about, I don't know, 500,000 American dollars, which, you know, isn't exactly chump change. <laughs> but to be at one of the biggest sporting events in the world, from one of the best seats, if not the best seat in the world, with your own private suite, with all whoever you've got with you, that would just be like a pin point life. That would honestly just
must be peak. Imagine that, just standing up, looking out onto this uh, nine, 90, 900, 90,000 people, 100,000 people watching on the biggest sporting event in the world. You've got all the food over there, you've got all the drinks over there, you've got wait staff, and you're just looking out to one of the best views. Like, that would just be surreal. It'd be honestly surreal, and it's, it's, it's hard to comprehend, to be completely honest, especially when it costs 500 grand US for a suite. That's, <laughs> that's insane. We're gonna figure it out. We are gonna figure it out. Anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please give a big thumbs up so that you're enjoying this content. We've only got two more videos of this before we get started, and I have got plans to get rid of some of these on the list before the end of 2018, so it is time to definitely get excited. Like I said, guys, there is still two more videos. I already do have the list, but if you guys have a better idea and you want to chuck an idea out that hasn't already been sent, then comment it below. I would love to see it. If it's good enough, I'll get rid of the ones that I've already put, and I'll put your one in there, and then we'll obviously complete that. If you're a big sporting fan and you haven't already subscribed, Go and hit that subscribe button right now and also hit the little ding-a-ling -ling notification bell so that you get this new subscription feed and you also get a notification every time we upload. Anyway guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.